think so. Okay, it says Facebook is online and YouTube is online. Yeah. I think so. Do you want to test the chat? I'm going to for each. Give me one second. Wow, already a comment from Yana. Hello. Let me see if everything's working. Okay, let me try to minimize this. I don't have enough screens to see everything. All the craziness that's happening. Okay, awesome, I think we're on. I have to remember the cameras this way. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome. So my name is Marina and I'm joined here by my fiance, Alex. Hello. Alex, hello. is your mic on? Um, as they say, mic check one, two, one, two. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, got two, it. and two. Okay, we got people from all over. Illinois, we got Virginia, people from over. Rhode Island, I see. The Great White North. Hello, Carol from the Great White North. Is New York in the house? Is Queens in the house? <laughs> Ontario, we, we got, got some Ontario, international crew. Ontario, Pennsylvania, okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to switch my cams. A little crooked there. It's okay. We got a little bit of Maine in the house all over. Welcome all. Welcome, guys. So I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to set up. So I'm gonna go over my supplies, um, and then you guys could grab your drinks, grab your supplies, grab your friends, whatever you need, and then we'll get started. So we always start around 8.10, and Alex and I are usually very punctual. We won't right, get Alex? into that, we won't get into that right now. It's a short topic, it's a short Except topic. Except he's punctual, I'm, I'm not really punctual, but when we're together, we're punctual together. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my supplies. Let's see. I'm going to move this out of the way. Oh, forgot the most important part. So we are going to be painting Winter Cardinal. So this is the painting right here. So that's what we're going to be creating. It's going to be super fun. I think it has um, some finger painting in here. So we're going to be doing that for the first time, I think. Okay. Finger okay. Painting. You ready? I see you. I'm ready. I'm just going to put this on the side. And I hope that it's going to hold. There we go. Great success. Okay, great success. Great success. Let me move this down just a little bit. Okay, so if you guys are just joining, please say hi in the chat. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're drinking. Is it any um, holiday specials? I don't Do know. we have I'm already any first-time painters? Do we have any first-time painters? Let us know in the chat. Okay, so... Alex, you ready for this? Because you're always delayed when we go over what we have. I thought we were giving the setup. The yeah, we're giving minutes. the setup. Yeah, so I'm going to go over my, my setup right here. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Hold let's on. Let's this. get ready. It's okay. serious time right, right, right off the bat. Okay, so we have our 12 by 12 canvas. 12 by 12 check. We have our palette paper. Trying to show this just one just one we have two pieces here yeah, just in do. case yeah, we want to make do. room for mixing palette paper and extra check okay we have our six colors of paint usually six it's five colors. oh i wonder how many noticed <laughs> check so we have our white red yellow phthalo blue want to emphasize that it is potentially blue. my new favorite blue of the last half year phthalo blue has really made an impact for me. It, it almost looks black but it's actually it's a, a darker blue and then we have black and brown so these are our six colors check check okay so then we have our cup with water and our two brushes so we'll be using 
a large flathead brush. I'm gonna show it here. So this is a size 16 and then a small round brush. This one's a size four. Let um, me see, we got some flathead. We got a big old brush and a smaller brush. Exactly. Check, check. You don't need to know the numbers. You know, the technicalities <laughs> and such. Okay, so we also have a paper towel. That's your own little little, little addition. I no, like it. No, we always have a paper towel. Are you, well, are you, th this is true. Check. This is your 10th time doing this? I don't know. Okay, and then, so I think that's it in terms of paint. And then we also have our adult beverage. So tonight I have a old-fashioned that Alex made for me. So it's probably not an old-fashioned. It's probably something else. And I'm not going to ask too I'm many questions. I'm not sure if I should be absolutely offended by that or not. Wow. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it's pretty festive. So we're getting into the holiday spirit just a little bit. So Alex, what do you have? Do you have anything? I do have something over here. I have a new type of uh, Japanese whiskey. It's called Nikko. Ooh, oh, did yeah. I try that earlier? You have not. Okay. Is is this what's in here right now? It is not. What did you give me? Well, an old fashioned is normally consistent of bourbon, so you have a classic oh. makers in there as your bourbon base. Okay, I'm cool okay. with that. Okay. And then I also have my cup with drinking water, but we won't talk about that. So I basically have three cups of liquid. Drinking water, adult beverage, paint water. And the important thing is not to mess them up. Okay, so we have about two minutes to go before we start. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the setup. Oh, one thing that I forgot to show you guys, and I actually don't have that on me right now. What are we box. One second. To make a lovely easel? Yeah. There we go, there we go. We're back. Here we go, here We're we back. go. Okay, so if you guys have purchased a box, you could actually make an easel out of this in about 10 seconds or so. So basically, you're just gonna fold the lid back. I'm trying to show this, I don't know what camera I'm using. So you're gonna fold the lid back and you're gonna use two pieces of tape, one here and one there. And then it's gonna stand up and you could put your canvas right here or actually on the other side as well. So this is gonna be your easel. It's re really sturdy and you could use it while you're painting. There we go, that's it. Can you please show the brushes one more time? Yes. So the brushes that we're using, so we have a large flathead brush. This is a size 16, but you could use a bigger brush. You could use one that's an inch um, or three fourths of an inch, something like that. It doesn't really matter. And then we have a small round brush. So this one is a size four, but you could use one that's actually uh, smaller. So you could use a size two if you want, or you could use a size six. So as long as you have a smaller brush for the details, you're good. How are we doing? We're doing great. Okay, and the canvas that we're using, it's a 12 by 12 canvas. So it's square, so you could use any canvas that you have. It doesn't need to be square, um, but we're going to be painting on a 12 by 12. Apple Whiskey Cranberry Mules. That sounds amazing. So I was actually going to go with a mulled wine tonight because that seemed very holiday festive or an eggnog, but that just took too much time and nobody has time for that. And you know, I'm over here just playing bartender, whipping up whatever this you is command. the best part. Are you kidding me? What size is our canvas one more time? So our canvas is a 12 by 12. Thank you. And you guys are welcome to use whatever you have. So it doesn't need to be a square, um, although we're going to be painting a square painting. Pineapple Rattler. I am 
vastly intrigued by what, what is that is. What is a Rattler? Can someone tell me? Okay, guys, so if you're just joining, welcome. My name is Marina. I'm joined here by my fiance, Alex. Uh, we're going to start in about a minute or so. We're actually um, a little bit behind schedule. It's okay. So I guess it only falls in line. <laughs> Should we potentially mention the giveaway that I'm uber excited Already? about? Already? Just it's... like a little name drop, a little, a little Well, little you tease. already mentioned it, so we can't not talk about uh, it right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I told you, the excitement is just hard to contain for me. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you probably do. So we have a big giveaway um, happening, and we only have less than four hours till it's over. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. So we are actually giving away a three-month Creatively subscription box. Um, which is crazy. It's the biggest giveaway we've, we've done. It's worth over $100. And you basically get a beautiful box in the mail every month with all the supplies you need, step-by-step -step instructions, and a video tutorial to create these paintings. So, well, now you that you enter? made me talk oh, about this. So how do you enter? Tell okay, so if you guys haven't entered, you have four more hours to do so. You just go to creativelybox.com slash giveaway and there are multiple ways for you to enter so you could keep and you could keep entering i don't know multiple entries times. okay Some people have entered about 20 times or so so the more times you enter obviously Stack the box the more chances you Stack have winning. the box ladies and gentlemen enter many many times okay and i'm gonna show you guys i was gonna do this later but i'm gonna hold show on, you guys hold on for it we're gonna talk about this all the time. Well, it's part of the giveaway. Yeah. So I gotta do let's it. Let's tease it. Let's tease it. I'm gonna tease it. I'm gonna tease it later. Let's tease it later as well. Okay. So this is actually gonna be the first month's box that you get. So this is our January box, which just launched today, and this is called Winter Wonderland. So this is gonna be the first month's painting, and I'm super excited. This one is. I, I love this one. So, yeah. I'm a big so that's our well. giveaway. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. And it's free. That's the best part. It's the best we, price of all. We know that one person is going to win and they're going to get this for free. So it's awesome. Okay, so are you ready to start? I am so ready. <laughs> okay, so we are going to take our large brush. I didn't forget this time. Is it time for the It's time the for we're gonna do We're going to do a, an, our oath? Oath, an oath, a pledge, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to hold up your large brush with your right hand, him, and please repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To relax and have fun. To relax and have fun. To not judge my painting. To not judge my painting. Or the painting of others. Or the painting of others. And to be fearless. And to be fearless. Oh, yeah. That was very intense. I mean, if you're going to say fearless, you can't dramatic. say it with, you know, just nonchalance. Okay. Cheers. Ready to go. <laughs> okay, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do, I don't know why I put this in the water because we're going to need our large brush for this. So we are going to make a light grayish blue color. And I actually, I should have come up with some kind of creative name for it, but... We're working it's on. a light grayish blue. I don't know if you guys come up with something in the chat, let me know so I could reference that color over and over again instead of saying light grayish blue every time. Okay, so we're going to mix a lot of white and just a little bit of blue, just a tiny, tiny smidge of blue and then a, an even tinier bit of black. So we're going to get this really nice grayish blue white color oh my god i, I need a name for it it'll come alex to you. do you have an i don't have an right idea now. how about um i can't think of anything smoky gray let it come no to you. no that doesn't work because it's a bluish country blue love it okay so we're gonna make country blue so i am mixing a little bit more white to mine just to make it a little bit lighter. So if you guys didn't get the right proportions, just keep mixing it until you get the color that you desire. So 
this is what it looks like. It actually looks kind of dark on the screen, but it's it's a pretty light bluish gray. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Okay, so I'm just going to color my entire canvas with this color, and I'm going to do it in uh, diagonal strokes. And I'm going to keep mixing more and more, and it's going to change a little bit on my canvas, which is fine, because you kind of want to see that variation in the color. Hold on, testing. Wait, my your mic is not on. No, right now my mic is on. Oh, can you turn it on? Can you guys hear me okay? Just, just confirm in the chat. I'm seeing that the sound is okay. Sound is okay on my end. I always love that little... The brush sound. The brush sound. Okay. So I'm just covering this entire canvas and sometimes I'm gonna dip this into the water just to make it flow on the canvas a little bit easier. It is a very soothing color though. It is. It's kind of the color that you would paint your walls with. This country blue. Right? I feel like this would make a good wall color. So I'm keeping I have to keep mixing this color um, just because I'm covering the entire canvas with it. So sometimes it's gonna come out a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, and it doesn't really matter. You're just covering up this entire canvas. And this is the part where you're kind of going crazy. You're not worrying about messing things up because you really can't mess this up. Would you have a small request to potentially repeat what you may have just said? A quick summary regarding the color and the direction and such yeah so we are covering the canvas with country blue country blue country blue is that our new blue this is our new blue thank you um thank you just justina i like it for the suggestion i do i do like it and we're just covering this up in diagonal strokes and you're trying to cover up your canvas so make sure that you don't see the white canvas through your paint And you say the whole canvas? Just, yeah, the whole canvas. And sometimes I'm dipping my brush into the water and then back onto the canvas just so it blends a little bit better. Mm. Tricks of the trade, as they say. Exactly. I'm always just, why diagonal? That's a good question. Why not? Versus just like the, the uh, well, generic horizontal or such. 
Well, actually, for the next step, we're gonna go in all different directions. Oh, we're just we're yeah, go because wild. you want to create some variation with the texture, and you want to make it look interesting, right? I feel like horizontal is kind of expected, so we want to make it a little bit not expected. I see. I respect the game. And it is a very soothing color, you're right. Would it be outrageous to say that it's similar to the color of my walls? Well, that's what I said earlier. I said that it would make a good wall color. And it but it's actually... To, it happens to be the very close color of my walls. Just, uh, you know, small fun tidbit. That means you made a good choice. Was there any doubt? Come on now. Okay, so we're almost done covering up our entire canvas with this color. Should the paint be pretty thin per se, or are we trying to lay it yeah, on? Yeah, it could be thin because the next step is gonna be actually to build up the, t the texture a little bit. I like it, I like it. So as long as your canvas is covered and you can't really see through to your canvas, you're good. Okay, so now, I don't know why I almost washed my brush, but I, I didn't need to. So now we're basically gonna use the same color and we're gonna do a slightly different technique. So we are gonna do short dabs of paint and we're gonna cover the canvas like that. So I'm just dabbing my brush quickly onto the canvas. Is it loud? Sorry. <laughs> keep going Is it last? It's and I'm gonna I do going. slight variations in the color so sometimes my color is gonna be a little bit darker a little bit lighter a little bit more blue a little bit more gray so I'm just gonna cover up more of the canvas using this technique just so the paint is a little bit thicker I feel like it's so loud So I'm just going in short dabs and covering up the canvas. And again, it's going to look pretty messy and that's okay. It's supposed to. And this is the part where you're not freaking out about messing up or. You it's know. always one of those where like it comes together with the last final Exactly. This is definitely not the part where you it's coming gotta, together. You got to trust the process, as they say. Any of those from Philadelphia will know what I'm talking about. Why Philadelphia? It's okay. It's a sports thing. Okay. <laughs> Inga, we read minds. This is how we do it. So I just keep mixing more of this country blue just over and over again and it's going to come out slightly different every time. And then if you guys have a part on your canvas that looks totally different from everything else, you could always go back in with a color that's um, similar to what you have here and just go over it a little bit so that way it kind of all blends in together.
feel like I need to tape this canvas so it doesn't create the noise. It's part of the painting experience. The noise? Just the, yeah. you know, the whole knocking and dabbing of the, uh, of the painting and canvas. The sound effects and such. And I hope you guys are playing music in the background, you know. We, like we can't play music Christmas here. Christmas-like music? Or could be holiday we... music. Could be anything. Could be holiday music? Could be classical. Could be whatever makes you feel good. It's this side that's very loud. I feel like this painting gets you into the festive mood. It doesn't really matter what you're celebrating, you know? This is just like this snowy scene with a beautiful bird and the colors are all working together. I love it. So if your painting is coming out looking very dark, you could always add more white to it. So just go over the painting with white. And I'm just dabbing in different directions and just adding more of a texture. And just make sure that you're covering up your canvas so you can't see the white anymore. So my canvas is looking kind of crazy. It's very messy. It doesn't look like anything and it's all going to come together in the end, I promise you guys. Hashtag trust the process. Trust the process. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to make it quieter. Should I hold it off? I can no. hold it off a little bit. Definitely not. Just to get the side. We have a quick question. What colors did you use for the blending? So I'm using a lot of white and just a tiny bit of blue and an even tinier bit of black. So it comes out to be this bluish white, sorry, this white bluish gray color. Does that make sense? Not at all. If it's Hold on, let's dig into that for a hot second because if it's grayish, can it really be white? A grayish blue maybe, but you can't be a white grayish blue. You can be whatever I say you can be. <laughs> we have a dictatorship over colors. That's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so the second step was kind of to make your canvas a lot messier. So I think I made it pretty messy right now, and I think we're ready to move on. How do you feel? As a wise man once said, great success. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure, does this look like I'm ready for the next step? I think it does. And you kind of, you have, you have to feel it. Is it okay. a uh, trust of the process it's, per se? It's a feeling. It's a feeling. That's fine. That could have been a reach. Okay, guys. So I put my brushes down because I'm going to use my fingers now. You ready for this? I can't even this? tell you how excited I am. I sense a little sarcasm here. Then your senses are far off. The excitement <laughs> is quite sincere, madame. Okay, guys. So we are going to create some circles using your finger so Which i'm gonna one? dip this into i'm gonna use my pointer do you advise the pointer well we're gonna vary the sizes so you could technically use your thumb as well and maybe uh, you could use all your fingers actually because we're gonna vary the sizes a little bit and you'll you, you'll see in a second so i'm gonna dip it into the white so just a little bit ah. not a lot and then I'm gonna put some circles on the top part of my, my canvas. So the, t the top half, I would say. Top half. Yeah, so I'm just randomly creating some circles. So I'm kind of pressing it down on my canvas and going a little bit in, in circles. So and like then... a fingerprint, you're not like drawing a circle. Yeah, exactly, okay, okay. so it's more of a fingerprint. No, no, I just wasn't sure if we should draw the circle if we're, or if like our finger is the circle. Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> so I'm kind of going around a little bit so that this one's very big. So try not to make it this big. So I'm just adding it in certain parts. So this one, I could actually make it a little bit more circular with my finger. <laughs> that came out a little crazy looking, but that's okay. I don't know why it's not coming out as circles. I feel like something's wrong with the, this finger. So I'm kind of trying to make it a little bit more circular with my finger. Okay, this one came out a little bit better. So some of them are gonna be lighter, some of them a little bit more white, and that's good because you want that variation. And you also wanna vary the sizes a little bit. So I'm actually, I'm gonna try using my pinky because why not, because I feel like these are really big. So let's see what happens. I haven't done this before. Okay, this one came out cute. Alex? Okay, so pinky's the way to go actually for the smaller ones. So the circles create this effect, and I forgot what it's called. There's a name for it in photography, and I'm, I'm blanking out on the name right now, but it basically creates this effect where it's blurred in the background. So when it's blurred in the background, you're kind of seeing these circles that are blending into the background and it comes out really cool looking. And if anyone knows the name of this in photography, um, Please let me know. Yes, exactly, Yana. 
and I feel like I'm, I'm mispronouncing it. Bo Boki? Boki? <laughs> That's exactly the name that I was looking for. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of light blue and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna take my finger, I'm gonna take white and I'm gonna mix it into the blue a little bit and create this light blue color and also add a little bit of the circles into my background. And you wanna make sure it's kind of light. So it's a little bit, it could be a little bit darker than your background. Okay, so you don't need to go too crazy with the circles. Um, just a few on the top half and maybe a few on the bottom. So you don't need that many. Maybe I'll add some more to the bottom of my canvas. And again, I'm gonna vary the sizes a little bit. Do you think? learn something new every day i don't know i'm kind of digging this finger painting so i'm just continuing rock on with your bad self as they would say can you repeat what you just said what okay I might fix these guys over here because they're looking kind of not, not too circly. There we go. What do I do with this now? You said you brought a paper towel or something along those lines. Maybe I'll wash it a little bit. No, dip in the old. <laughs> And the old just, I'll just wash water. it a Make sure bit. it's not the drinking water. I know. Make that's sure the, it's the, the not biggest the fear. drinking water. What is the name of your YouTube channel? So our YouTube channel is Creatively Box. So it's youtube.com slash creatively box. And we actually have all of our tutorials on YouTube. There you go. There we go. Okay, so now... We're going to start working on the pine. So the pine branch. So I'm going to take my small brush. Or maybe I could take my large brush. I'll take my small brush. Is it an either or? It's whatever you guys are comfortable with because we're going to get a little bit detailed. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use brown. So if you guys don't have brown, you could actually mix it really easily by using, looking at you, Alex. Don't, don't even <laughs> glance this way. We, you promised me. Brown is difficult to figure out how to mix. You promised me that there would be no quizzes and I'm going to hold you to it. That's about it. Okay. So the way that we mix brown is all the primary colors. So if you combine yellow, blue, and red, 
and you get the, the right proportions, you'll eventually get brown. So we're actually, we have brown here already mixed, so that's good. Um, so we'll just be using that, but um, it's always really fun to create it. How lucky for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start in the middle of my canvas on the left edge. So that even makes sense. So I'm going to do a curve that's extending almost till the end of the other edge. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to go up a little bit and then down. So this is going to be my curve. And then I'm just going to make it thicker. So I'm also, I'm going to go up a little bit and then down and I'm making sure to make it uh, narrower at the end. And while you're coloring it in, you could change the shape of it a little bit. So let's say if you want it to curve more or if you want it to be thicker in certain places, you could do that while you're coloring it. So it's just a simple curve and you're just thinning it out at the end. Ah, uh, yes. So you could also make brown in many different ways. So you could actually use the complementary colors. So you could use red and green, blue and orange. And can't yellow and purple. I'm looking at you, I don't know, because you're... I can't tell if you're, like, guessing, if you're telling me that only I just one want of those is the correct answer. Like, yes, you're right. Are all of those the correct answer? All of those. Or one of those the correct answer? All of those. So there's, like, at least four ways to make brown. The possibilities are nearly endless. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna create um, edges on this pine branch. So we're just gonna go and create like short little strokes coming out of the edges of the pine. So it's basically, it's just like a little triangle shape or a little curve that's coming from the edges of this branch. So kind of like that. So then I'm going to go all the way down to the end of my branch. And then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. And it's all going in the right direction. You see what I did there? Alex? I did see what you did there. Okay, and then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. So it's also is these short little strokes that are also going to the right. And they're kind of thinning out at the end. And this is gonna be for our pine needles.
I'm going to need a refill soon. How's everyone else doing? Is your old-fashioned pretty delicious? It is. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to create a little shadow underneath this branch. So the bottom part of this branch, I'm just going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to mix that into my brown just to make it slightly darker. And then I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to add this shadow to the bottom part of the branch branch <laughs> that's where my New York accent comes in please oh please And then if you guys went too dark, you could always go back in with just a brown and just cover up some of the darker parts. So there's really no way to mess this up because you could always go back and just paint right over it. The old go back and fix later play. Exactly. I like you it. could just keep painting over your entire canvas as many times as you want. I think we're almost ready for the bird. Can you believe it? Don't even tease me like that. I am Can so you even ready. Believe it? I've been the most ready the okay. whole time. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wash my brush. Which brush? All brushes? The small one that I'm using. The small brush. In the case. Yes. Okay, just making sure. That's all. Just making sure. So I'm going to wash my brush. So this is the part where we're going to do the bird. So now don't worry, I'm going to break it out into really simple shapes. So we don't even need a, a traceable for this. I actually, I was thinking whether to provide one for this, but we actually don't need one because it's super easy. I believe in them. I do too. I believe in the paint. It looks intimidating when you look at the final painting, but, but you break it down so when easy. When you break it down, it's fine. Okay, so we are gonna create an egg shape for the body of the bird and we're gonna position it on the second half of the canvas so basically the right half of the canvas that's where you want your bird to go so just remember this is your painting so if you want it to go on the other side or underneath or just flying around or whatever it's really up to you so we are going to put it right here so i'm going to create a, an egg shape with my brush and the shape is going to be approximately the, the size of my fist are you using your large or small brush? I'm using the small brush the for small this. small brush to do yeah. this. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to outline the shape of my egg. So it's going to be around the size of your fist. So I'm just going to draw it here. And it doesn't need to be perfect because you're always going to be able to fix this shape afterwards. So this is my egg shape. That was pretty simple, right? Absolutely. So it's around, it's actually, it's like exactly the size of my fist. So you could vary the size a little bit, but um, this is the size that I'm choosing for my canvas. Okay, so then we're going to do a half circle for the head. So I'm going to position it about here or so. So I'm going to do a half circle. Just like that. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit off to the side of this egg, but it could also be right above it. So it doesn't really matter. My cardinal is leaning a little bit to the side. Does it matter what side it's leaning? Is it on? No. No. Mine is gonna be leaning a little bit to the left. Hey, it's okay. 
We lean, we lean. So it's literally, it's an egg for the body, which is around the size of your fist, and then a smaller half circle for the head. Okay, you ready for this? And we're gonna create a few more triangles. I was born ready. Okay. So then we're gonna create a triangle for the beak, and it's gonna be facing down a little bit. So this is the beak. And then we're gonna create another small triangle for the crest. It's almost like a shark fin. So this is the crest. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost, we've almost done the bird. Okay, and then we're gonna create another half circle or so for the bottom part of your cardinal. So it's just like a little shape here before the tail. I see you coming together already. Right? It's so it's just like a little half circle underneath the branch. And then we're gonna do the tail. So the tail is gonna be another triangle, but it's gonna be big and kind of long. So you're just gonna extend it out. And you don't need to get the lines perfect. You could fix it later on. So I'm just doing a triangle here. And then you could fix it. Let's say you want this line to be a little bit in this direction, you could fix it with the paint. So basically it's an egg shape, a half circle, two triangles, one for the beak, one for the crest, and then a little half circle and then the tail. So the, the triangle for the tail. So super simple and that's all we did and that's your bird. It's a fantastic looking bird. It is. I think I'm gonna switch to my larger brush and I'm just gonna paint it in red. Just whiskey and some ice. You're the best. Okay, so I'm just painting it in red. Yes, sir. So I'm going to paint the body in first and it doesn't really matter you could start with the head you could start with the tail how did everyone do with their bird it was pretty simple right so I'm just coloring this in. You're the best, thank you. Okay, so I'm coloring in the head and then the crust and the crust doesn't need to be a perfect triangle it's kind of looks a little feathery it's not perfect and i'm just going to leave the beak as is so you don't need to color it red because it's actually going to be an orange color plot twist <laughs> that was unexpected <laughs> okay okay and now would be a good time for a refill What did you put in here? The good stuff. Don't worry about it. Okay.
Okay guys, so now we're gonna go on to the pine needles. So while this bird is drying a little bit, we're gonna do the pine needles on this branch. So I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm just gonna wash it really well because right now it's covered in red and I'm gonna use green so I need to make sure that, that it's pretty clean. Okay, pretty clean. Okay, so I'm gonna mix green. So Alex, do you know how to mix green? Looking at you. I bet you are. However, this is still not. Yes, I do. Blue and yellow. Thank you. You're getting so good at color theory. Don't even. It just takes. It just takes practice. Don't you patronize me. Okay, so we are gonna mix green. If you guys already have pre-mixed green, that's also fine. So we're gonna mix yellow and blue. And if you guys wanna make your green lighter, instead of adding white, you just mix a little bit more yellow into it. And if you wanna make it darker, you mix a little bit of blue into it. So you're never really adding white to make it lighter. That's kind of unexpected, right? You're gonna have to say that one more time slower. <laughs> I d Please and thank you. So I'm mixing yellow and blue. So if you guys want to get a lighter green, you put more yellow into it. Okay. If you want to get a darker green, you put more blue into Perfect. it. Perfect. Phthalo gotcha. blue. Phthalo. So I'm mixing green. So it's like a medium green, but it's going to vary a little bit. So sometimes I'm going to be doing a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. It doesn't really matter. Um, but that variation is going to look really nice in your painting. Okay, so I'm going to start off on the left side, the bottom part of the branch. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to create a long diagonal stroke and I'm going to try to thin it out at the end. So just like that. So I'm kind of applying really light pressure to my brush and just going down and thinning it out. So that's one. So these needles are going to be a little bit in bundles. So they're kind of in bundles of like three or four, and then there's a little bit of space. And again, there's like a bundle of three or four of these. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm just going to vary these a little bit. They're going in slightly different directions. So maybe one of them is going this way. And you guys could use a little bit of water and then it's gonna be easier for you to create this diagonal stroke. So for example, this is one of my bundles and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here and I'm gonna do another bundle of three or four. And it's gonna look a little bit messy at first, but it's all gonna come together when you finish the needles. Hashtag. Trust the process. <laughs> exactly. So then maybe I'll have one going in this direction and it doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom. You could vary it a little bit. And maybe one. And maybe there's gonna be one that goes the complete opposite direction. So kind of like this. So th this is nature, it's not perfect. Not everything goes in one direction. So you wanna definitely vary it up a little bit. So I'm also gonna do one maybe that goes this way as well. And then I'm going to continue this, so I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to do another bundle of like three or four, five, I don't know. Feeling crazy. I'm feeling crazy, exactly. So again, they're kind of going in slightly different directions. And maybe I'm adding a little bit more blue into, into my color or a little bit more yellow just to vary it up a little bit. Okay. 
So if your red is not covering up the snow, so right now mine isn't either, we're gonna do a few layers. So that way it's gonna cover it up eventually. So just be patient with it. You might need two or three layers to do it. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, and with acrylic, you could do 100 layers if you need to. So you could always add more paint. So I'm using a little bit of water just to thin out my color and that way it's easier to do these diagonals and I'm applying really light pressure with my brush. Can we use the flat brush sharp side? Ooh, you could try. That might actually work well. Intrigued. So you could try it and let me know how it goes. Like and it. if it's too thick, you could always cover it back up with this country blue. It so don't worry about messing up. That we've made the blue. I know, because otherwise I would be like, and you would, you could cover it up with this white grayish blue color. It's not as fun. So you're crisscrossing some of them, some of them are going in the same direction, some of them are going in the opposite direction. So you're just trying to vary it up. So when I painted this the first time, I actually did the bird last and I did all of the green needles and then once I covered once I painted the bird in red you could see all of the green needles through it so I had to paint like five layers was to that cover hard? it up and then I was like okay we'll need to paint the bird first do you think yeah because then you'll just avoid the needles yeah the bird? yeah because right now we just avoided all these needles going through it all right. And that way we only need to do maybe like two coats of paint. All right. This is all trial and error. And I'm testing it out before I do this tutorial, guys. So it's all good. Practice makes perfect. Ish. Ish. There's no such thing as perfect. Exactly. So we added the little, you know. So you're trying to do it in these bundles of three or four. And here I'm just trying to avoid the actual bird and I'm just going past it. So I'm continuing this line here, for example. Maybe some of these needles are just going straight down. So just definitely keep varying the direction of them.
should we potentially just one more time mention our lovely giveaway? I don't know. Yeah, it's been about an hour since we mentioned I'm it. I'm just saying. The excitement think, for me builds. I don't know about you. I think that's a good idea. So if you guys haven't heard before in the very beginning, so we do have a giveaway that's going to end in three hours. Dun, dun, dun. So we were running this giveaway for the last um, seven days or so. So this is the, the final three hours of the giveaway. So if you guys haven't entered yet, definitely do because it's going to be pretty epic. So we are giving away a three month creatively subscription box, which makes an amazing gift for the holidays, I would say. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have anyone creative or not creative in your family, this would make a really awesome gift for them. Um, so you basically get a box with all the supplies you need, step-by-step -step instructions, plus a link to a video tutorial to create these pretty awesome paintings. Where and do I need to go to enter? Wow. I'm thank just you, ready. Thank like, you for asking. Tell me, ready? please, right now. Okay, so you go to creativelybox.com slash giveaway, and there's seven ways that you could enter. And if you enter all seven plus more, plus keep entering, then you'll obviously increase your chances of winning this free giveaway. I'm so ready. Am I in theory disqualified? Because if not, I am on the way. You're not disqualified. I feel like I am, but it's okay. The and kids. we're actually going to announce the winner in our story on Instagram and Facebook tomorrow. So watch out for that. I think we're going to record a video of actually doing the raffle. So it'll be very exciting. The mystery builds. I'm so excited. Okay, so this branch is looking pretty full on this side. So I'm now going to do the same thing on the other side. And my, my needles are going to be going also in the right direction. That was like the cheesiest thing that I've ever said, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say that this like cardinal is looking over its per se shoulder or more just looking out in its direction? Because birds have flexible necks. Is it just owls? I was about to say, that might just be owls, but I'm going to extend that I don't assumption. Know, is anyone a bird expert in To, this uh, you know. Is it ornithologist? Is that uh... I think it's just looking in on the side a little just bit. Just out, out yonder? It's just pensively uh, looking. I like it. Well, someone over here is lucky enough to see a cardinal once in a while. Yelena. You dare to dream. So I'm just making sure to make most of the needles go to the right side. So they're following the same direction as the needles on the bottom. And then I'm also adding some needles that are going in the complete opposite direction, because why not? Because art, you know. Because art. Just let it, because it just happens. I think it's because nature, not because art. 
Because nature is not perfect. One could say they're one and the same. And that is pretty profound, yes. That was the deepest thing that you've ever said to me. I'm not sure about that, but that was profound. So I'm using some water just to make it easier to create these strokes. I'm a little in shock that it's already December. Should Are we you? not talk about it? Should we not, shouldn't talk about it. Let's not talk about we're it. In a, we're in a place of zen and serenity. No, but I think it's good because everyone's just waiting for this year to be over. So it's almost over. You know, so we can... We only have I a few like more weeks. I like the spin That's of positivity. It. That's it. I like the spin of positivity. This uh, needle's going right into his beak. It's a rogue needle. <laughs> rogue needle. It's nature. You can't control it. Sometimes we have Maybe a rogue it's needle. Hungry. Sometimes we just have a rogue needle, you know? So, these pines that are getting close to the cardinal, you could just continue them on the other side. Maybe I'll have another one here that crosses over this one. So we've definitively placed that the cardinals in front of the needles in our perception. Yes. I like it. Would you want it any other way? I don't know. We could get, you know, maybe it's like camouflage and... It can't be camouflage because it's red. Hunting? Sorry. I, don't, I don't know. Just Sorry. Just happen. Just, you know, it's possible. Let the imagination run wild. Okay, so I'm continuing these needles and they're going more and more to the right side and following the direction of the actual branch. So once you've continued your needles pretty much all the way down the branch, you could just assess whether 
you need to add more anywhere on the branch. So if there are some certain areas that are a little bit emptier than others, then you could add a couple more strokes of the of the green. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. That's uh, 10 for Roger. I mean, you could go over some of them with a darker green just so they stand out a little bit more. So it's all kind of coming together, right? Susan, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so now I'm just defining some of these needles just so you could kind of uh, not see the background in them. Because some of the lines are pretty thin and you're kind of seeing that country blue through it. So I want to cover it a little bit. You know? Jenna? You know? Okay, how's everyone doing with their green? Do you guys want to move on? Are you still working on it? I could keep working on this. So it really depends on you if you're ready to move on to the next it's step. Never quite finished type of things. I could keep adding more. I feel like the top needs a little more. Perhaps. I'm not even sure what that means. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> okay, so someone asked us about the raffle again. Okay, so we we have... This is on. like my Let favorite take... part. I love it. I'm so ready. Let me take a sip. It gets first. me so hyped every time. I can't <laughs> believe we're even doing it. Okay, so we have a giveaway happening right now. For um, how many more hours? For less than three hours. Oh my so god. So the giveaway get on ends it. at twelve midnight Eastern time. So we have less than three hours to enter. So it's our three month subscription box that we're giving away. So basically if if this is a gift for you if this is a gift for a family member we have a box that we send monthly to your house that comes with all the supplies you need step-by-step -step instructions and a link to a video tutorial on how to create these awesome paintings and actually the one that's for the month of january i'm gonna show it right now because because why not done with my needles so this is the first month's box that you're going to receive. This is our January painting. So if you guys are ordering it for a gift, we're going to try our best to send all of these out so you get them before Christmas. Fingers crossed. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, especially if you order in the next couple of weeks. We're good. Week. It's, it's only December 1st. We're good. <laughs> so the first... Month's box is the January box, um, and it's a three-month subscription. So there are multiple ways to enter. So you just go to creativelybox.com slash giveaway, and there are seven ways that you could enter. So, and you could keep on entering. So some people have entered like 20 times, 30 times. Stack the box. 
you obviously have more chances and we are going to announce the winner tomorrow in our stories um so definitely follow us on instagram follow us on facebook we are going to be picking the winner tomorrow i am super excited oh, ooh. and we carry on with our needles so the subscription is 34.50 so we have subscriptions and non-subscriptions so the non-subscription is 39.50 but if you get a subscription it's five dollars cheaper and you could literally cancel anytime so there's no commitment you just get a subscription you could cancel right after and best part is shipping is included yeah. so the final price is 34.50 yes and you could check out some of our boxes on creativelybox.com if i had one of those one of those angelic sounds i would play it right now you know when, like something opens like oh, oh there you go you were right there Okay, so I am gonna stop the needle process right now and I'm gonna do another layer for the cardinal. So I'm just gonna grab my large brush. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit and then I'm gonna do another layer of red because I wanna cover up this background color here. And it's almost covered. I think I only need one more layer, but some of you guys might need um, another two layers or so. So it really depends on what kind of paint that you're using. So I'm just gonna do another layer of red here. Yes, Alex, thank you for including the link to the giveaway. Teamwork make the dream work. Okay, there we go. So now we are going to do the beak. You ready? So we're going to mix an orange color. So we're going to do... Red and yellow. Yes. Yes. Sometimes so we're going to do a little bit of red off. and a little bit more yellow. So until you get a nice orange color. So you guys can't really see what I'm mixing, but I'm basically combining, or combining, combining. The, thank you, the red and the yellow. Did you say that there would be a bit more yellow than red? So yeah, there's a because the red is really strong, so you don't need a lot of it. Perfect. So I'm just gonna paint the beak with this color. this orange color. Easy enough, so you're painting just one of the triangles in orange, and this is where you get to change the shape of the beak if you want to. So let's say if you made it too thin, you could actually extend your orange and just make the beak a little bit thicker. Mine looks like a crazy beak. So then I'm going to add a little bit of a white highlight above the beak. You ready? So it's just going to be, so I'm just adding a little bit of white to my color. And I'm just going in here and just creating a white stroke on the top of the beak. So I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. So I basically just added a white stroke to the top of the beak. Easy. That's it. So we got our beak down. Easy peasy. Sorta. Okay, so now we're going to do the mask of the cardinal. You ready? So I'm going to wash my brush. 
Small brush. Small brush. Okay, so we're gonna take black. We're gonna take black and we are gonna do basically a reflection of this beak onto the other side. So you're taking this beak and basically a reflection of it. So this is the triangle here and then I'm gonna do another shape here. So it's kind of a half circle that you're adding to the bottom of this. So I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to bring it up. So it's basically you're reflecting the beak with the black and then you're doing a half circle underneath it. And then I'm just going to color this in black. And if your beak is pretty small, you just want to make sure that uh, the black part is a little bit bigger just so you could fit an eyeball into it because you want to make sure that you fit the eyeball. Very important. You need at least one eye. You need, a, yeah, there's going to be one eye. At least one. It's a one-eyed cardinal. Is it a pirate? Maybe. A one-eyed cardinal. <laughs> okay, so now that you did your mask, we're going to let this paint dry a little bit, and we're going to do some of the feathers using the black. So I'm just going to take my small brush. Using the black, I'm just going to add a few strokes just like that. And you see how it came out really dark, right? So I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to cover it with the red. So I'm just washing my brush and I'm taking the red and then I'm just going to cover it up. You see that? So I just covered up most of it. And if you covered up too much of it, you could always bring back the black. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the black and I'm just going to create these strokes of feathers. Okay, so now it's it looks a little bit dark. So I'm going to go back in with the red and I'm just going to cover some of it up so it just blends a little bit. You ready for this? I was born ready. And I'm using kind of pretty thick paint here just to cover up this color. There we go. So it's looking a lot more realistic already. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the tail. So I'm also I'm going to take some black. And I'm going to just add some strokes here. So again, it came out really dark. So what am I going to do, Alex? Were you paying attention? We're going to cover it up with some red. <laughs> exactly. If this was a test, you would you would pass with flying colors. Listen. It's how we do it. So I'm just covering this up. With the red. Awesome. So now 
we're gonna add the feet you ready so I'm gonna wash my small brush and I'm gonna mix a gray and how do you do that this one's easy it's not a true question uh, oh. a lot of white a lot of black exactly so we're gonna do white and we're gonna add a little black to it Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, so I'm going to add two curves for one foot. And it's going to go here. So it's one curve and second curve, just like that. So I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's basically two little curves and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to space it out a little bit and then add two more curves here. I just did that in the air. I don't know how I did that. Did you wave your hands like you just don't care? <laughs> I'm going to try to fix this a little bit. And here you have the feet. That's all you need. Okay, so now it's really perched on this branch right here. All right, so I think we're going to do the eyeball. You ready? I'm ready. So actually, you don't even need to wash your brush. You could just put it right into the white. I think. Let's see how it comes out. So you want like a very light gray color. So I'm going to create a white circle for the eyeball. This is really intense. You ready, Alex? I'm so ready. Okay, so it's going to be a small circle. Okay, here we go. So this is a small circle, so it's going to be in this side of the mask. So it's the the black part that you created that was a reflection of your beak. So you're going to do a little circle in there. And then I'm going to need to wash the brush again. And now I'm going to dip it in black and I'm going to create a smaller circle in this eyeball. The, uh... So I'm just going to pupil as one might say exactly so it's coming out a little bit light just because it's mixing in with the black which is fine so i'm going to just do another layer or you could just let it dry a little bit okay so it's almost there Okay, so the last step of this eyeball, I'm gonna add a little white dot for the reflection. I'm intrigued. A little, what is it called? Well, it how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was thinking, but okay. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it into the white and I'm going to add a little white dot just sort of right into the middle of this pupil. Okay, so now it's looking like an eyeball. And we have the eye. Yes. All right, guys, so we have like Two more steps left. We're almost done with this. We just need the snow. You ready for this? I'm so ready. Okay, so we're going to take our large brush. 
I'm gonna wash it really well. It's still red. I'm gonna wash it more. Okay, so we're gonna dip it into the white. Just make, make sure that your brush is pretty clean. So we're gonna dip it into the white and we're gonna create snow on top of this branch. So I'm gonna just gonna take this color and I'm just gonna go in short little dabs. Just gonna create some snow on here. So I'm kind of, I'm mixing this up a little bit. I'm just going in short little dabs on the top part of my branch. Yana, yes we can. So Yana's asking if we could use the finger method again. So you could definitely add more of the white circles to your background here if you want. But we're actually going to um, add more of the snowflakes later on in the next step. So I'm, I'm getting pretty thick with my paint. And I'm just adding it to the top of my branch. And also over here. And then I'm also going to add it in some parts of the needles. So maybe in between some of the needles that um, kind of crisscross. <laughs> so maybe in here. So you're, you're thinking about, okay, where is the snow going to fall um, if it's actually falling on this branch? So it's probably going to go in between some of these needles. Right? Yes. We're being very um, realistic here. Very precise. Very precise. So maybe it's going in here. So you're spreading the snow around a little bit. There's a nice flurry that came down. The flurry is definitely being a little bit. It's, the, it's our final it's step. It's coming down. It's coming. I see. So it's just snowing a little bit. So I'm going to add um, some of the snow to the bottom of these needles as well. So I'm scattering it around a little bit. That wasn't the right part. I feel like that was just random. That was. That was a little tricky. Yeah, that was just like not expected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just adding some snow to the bottom of this a little bit. So I'm just scattering some of the snow here. Okay guys, so before we do this final step, so if you had a good time tonight, please uh, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and also if you're inclined um, you could give us a review on our Facebook page as well mm. um, what else Alex what else am I missing 
Make sure to enter the giveaway. What a- Make sure to enter the giveaway. And also, oh, most important thing, um, spread tag the- us. Tag us. Um, on their wonderful work. We're, That's we, also important. Yeah, so if you guys it. are posting your painting on social, please tag us or um, do the hashtag creatively box so we'll see it and we could share it on our in- Instagram page. Good. There's a lot of things to do when you're having fun. Indeed. And then also, most importantly, guys, um, if you share this with your friends so telling your friends about it telling your family members that's how um the word spreads about a company so i think um for now it's mostly referrals so that really helps us get the word out so we'll really appreciate it all right you ready okay so we are gonna add the snow so i'm gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna dip it into the white and I'm gonna add some more of the circles using this brush. So I'm also gonna vary the sizes of them a little bit. So I have maybe a bigger circle here and just like a dot over here. And I'm just gonna keep going with this around my canvas. So maybe there's a bigger circle here, a smaller one here. So I'm just adding some dots to my canvas. And someone just said that they forgot about their drink. Never forget about your drink. I don't even know what they were doing. okay so i'm also gonna add some dots on the actual cardinal because the snow is falling in front of it as well so you don't want to go too crazy but i'm gonna add a few circles here few dots here And you could really go crazy with the snow if you want it to snow really heavy. Um, You could just keep on adding more snow. Maybe it's a blizzard. Who knows? So that's it guys. So the last step is obviously to sign your name at the bottom, your initials, whatever. And you are done. Way to go. Way to be fearless. Um, So like I mentioned, um, if you haven't entered the giveaway, please do. There's almost two hours left. So it's creatively box slash giveaway. 
So mm-hmm. enter our giveaway. We'll announce the winner tomorrow. Yeah. And also, please follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. Is you, that it? No. You know what I just realized? What? That this will actually be our... If it is, let me double check. Yes. I don't know where the this is going. The last broadcast of 2020. Since our next... Wait, wait, no. Hold on. And you just reminded me because we have a special holiday box mm-hmm. that's out. And I think we're going to do a live tutorial sometime in December. So, guys. So, thank you, Alex. So, this is our, our holiday box. It's called Deck the Halls, I think. It's <laughs> it's available on our website right now, and we are planning to schedule a tutorial for it. So it includes all the supplies that you need, plus step-by-step instructions, and also a traceable. So you don't have to worry about drawing um, this design. It's really easy. It comes as a traceable. So all you do is you trace that onto the canvas, and you're good to go. You're good to paint. So definitely check it out on our website, creativelybox.com. But I also, what? Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy yes. New Year! Yes! <laughs> Happy New Year, guys! Happy holidays! Take care and hope to see you soon! Bye! Bye.